Nonetheless, it should be a parent's right to say whether they want to vaccinate their kid or not. That's all I'm going to say about vaccines. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Ray in New York. Good morning, Ray. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning, Ben. I love the show. Thank you. Um, yeah, and about vaccinations. What about those, these, uh, I don't know, 100 fold increase of peanut allergies? And they use that as. And they use, that's right. And that's an, they use that's peanut right. oil. You know, and people don't even realize. You know, exactly. And geez, I, when I was growing up, I'm 54, there was nobody with a peanut allergy, you know? And now, and now it's. it's hundreds right? of thousands, millions. I don't know. Just a joke. Um, anyways, hey, Ben. Um, Hey, I've been on the uh, Urphonics for probably a two years, and I love them. They give me lots of energy. Uh, and I'm really, my only major problem that I'm dealing with that I can't win is uh, excess sebum. Uh, oh, okay. I've always had oily skin. Okay. Um, you know, I've got a receding hairline and uh, male pattern. Bump. Are you lean and mean? Are you built lean and mean? I'm lean and mean. I'm, All right. <laughs> uh, I'm 175 pounds. I, you know, I ride, I bike, I okay. snowboard. You can, here's your issues. Here's what you want to do, okay? That's a classic sign of adrenal health issues, especially, especially related to cortisol and possibly the male hormone testosterone. Your body is it's a good thing because you got lots of, you're burning fat real effectively and you're building muscle real effectively, but you want to start working on adrenal health. Oily skin is always an adrenal issue and it tends to show up when people are high testosterone producers because of the metabolite, the breakdown product of testosterone called DHT, which by the way is associated with prostate health prostate disease, and also associated with the receding hairline. You probably had acne when you were a kid, too, right, right? Uh, it kicked in about, uh, about 16, yeah. That's and probably that, when your hormones, yeah. that's probably when you started to build and started to grow. You probably got a surge of sure. hormones. And, and, and I, uh, to this day, I have acne, and it comes in waves. You know, I try You're to look, but I eat. Are you, I, now, I, I, here's a couple, I I'm going to give you a couple stretch. supplements and I'm going to give you a couple supplements and a couple strategies. First of all, you got to calm the body down. Your body's in a hyper mode, hyper, hyper adrenal mode, hyper androgen mode, hyper building mode. It's just hyper. So you, you got to. Pre- What's that? <laughs> I'm not psychic. I know. I tell people. I make a joke no, all the time. I, I, I say you know, you know, it's the way the body know. works. We're all generic, Ray. We're all generic. We're all the same. Now you know. Aside yeah. from. The superficial differences, our bodies are built the same. So it's not psychic, it's just biology. Your body's in a hyper mode. You've got to calm your body down. It's going to end up shortening your life and causing all kinds of problems, no matter how healthy you think you are. So it's really, really important, especially at the age of 54. So deep breathing techniques, uh, massages, relaxing, anything you could do to activate your relaxation nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. That's strategy number one. Strategy number two, anything that breaks down into sugar is going to put a burden on the system. So oxygenation and respiration, number one, reducing sugar intake. And keep in mind, fruit juice and bread and pasta and potatoes and you know pretty much all the foods we love are sugar. So you're going to have to wean yourself off of that. And the best way to do that is to up your protein and then up your coconut oil and good fats, essential fatty acids. Make sure you're and using can sugar. Can I interrupt you for a second on that? Sure, sure. Uh, with coconut oil, um, believe it or not, and or I, I heard someone else talk about oils in their diet, and I love coconut oil, and I, I, I used to use it all the time, but I literally, peanut oil in, in high school or college uh, with, you know, uh, peanut butter sandwiches, I would, it would just give me these deep, really deep uh, acne pimples. Are you talking uh, about coconut even, oil or peanut oil? And, and coconut oil and the peanut oil, and basically any oil. If I, well, I've never... I, I had... It may be that you're not. It may. It may be that you're not metabolizing oil or processing oil. Do you have any other digestive issues? Um, actually, I've been pretty good. I've been on. Um, no, 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 no. Do you have a history of digestive issues? Because this is important information. Uh, What's that yeah, in the past? So, uh, you may not be. I eat, if I eat carbs, like get, I, I, I take no more gluten, and I find that's really helped me tremendously. Uh, I don't do any kind of gluten pastas or any bread. I eat, if I eat a hamburger outside, I'll just eat the meat and the toppings. Well, here's but, the thing, um, Ray. It doesn't help me to know what you're doing good. I don't need to know that part. I need to know what you're doing wrong. The oils are telling me that there's some kind of burden on the body. The fact that you've got some, your, your hyperadrenal would imply that the digestive system is somehow either a stressor 
and it's causing you to be hyperadrenal or the hyperadrenal is causing digestive problems. It could go either way or it could go both ways. So what you need okay. to do, number one, and I got, I got a bunch of calls I want to get to, so I'm just going to go real fast here, Ray. Think of yourself as having an adrenal gland issue, number one. That means relaxation techniques and that means sugar, uh, sugar reduction techniques. That's, those are the first two things to think about. The third thing is if you have digestive issues, especially around fats, you're going to need to, you're going to start, need to start using digestive support, including including the ultimate enzymes, which okay. contain lipase, and take them with all your meals. You might want to go get some extra lipase. You might also want to get some extra bile salts. And you might also want to use lecithin with your fatty meals. Then there's tremendous nutrients that are great for skin oils and also great for the adrenal glands and also helpful for digestive health too. And that is specifically zinc. If you're not on zinc, 50 milligrams a day, take it right away. I and then copper. Good deal. 50 milligrams zinc picolinate? Uh, I take 30. Try to do 50 if you can. That would be, the, that'd be better. And then get yourself on pantothenic acid, vitamin B5, which we haven't talked about, but we will be talking about here in the next few days because it is so stupendously important for the adrenal glands and for how the, the adrenals turn fats into hormones. Uh, vitamin B5 topically can also help with skin oil, so you can break open a vitamin B5 capsule and put it in, in a topical product. Uh, try not to use something oily, obviously, uh, but a, a topical product, maybe a water mister. I don't know. If, actually, Panto won't go. Get something called calcium pantothenate if you can find it, and then maybe disperse it in a little bit of uh, alcohol, and then use it as an, if it goes, I think it'll go into alcohol, and then use it as a toner, an alcohol toner. If you can find salicylic acid toners, those will also help you from a topical perspective. When I say high doses internally of B5, I'm talking two, three, four grams of it a day, and that's a lot, but make sure you're taking taking it with your, uh, with your uh, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine because you never want to take high doses of one B vitamin without the other. Between taking okay. care of your sugar, relaxation techniques, correcting digestive issues and fat metabolism, and zinc and pantothenic acid, and even salicylic acid topically, you may be, uh, you'll probably notice a pretty significant reduction in skin oils, especially with the panathenic acid. I, al I also had that problem with oily skin when I was a teenager, and I got, started dosing myself with panathenic acid, and I noticed that it went away pretty darn quickly, and then when I stopped taking the panto, my skin would get oily again. So consider panathenic acid along with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine high doses of, you, of panto. You took the panathenic internally or internally? Internally. I did, but well, I was I made the cream in my in my skincare business. I made a drying lotion with panathenic acid. And I sold quite a bit of it, uh, but for myself, I did it internally. Got to move. That's a, all the time we have. have. Skin product that, uh, that might help. Oh yeah, go to truth truthtreatments.com. Send me an email, Ben at ksco.com. I got to go, Ray. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for joining us, friends. Have a beautiful, spectacular, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.